what around October of last year so this kind of around six months in the making before I start may I ask who among you inside this room are already entrepreneurs can you please raise up your hands entrepreneurs already who among you are wannabe entrepreneurs you want to start to become one who among you are currently employed can you please raise up your hands who among you no matter what I ask you refuse to raise up your hands can you please raise up your hands now, kidding aside, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Chinky, just like what you saw over the short video a moment ago. I used to be part of the local entertainment industry here in the Philippines, whether you believe it or not. Actually, uh, I don't know if you can call Randy Santiago. Are you familiar with Randy? Randy is a popular singer. He always wears shades. Uh, he, the reason why he wears shades is because he wants to protect his identity. Do you want to know really how his eyes look like? Yes or no? Secret. Actually, before I got discovered, I actually was a double for Richard Gomez. Yes, that was before my accident. This is what happened after. Now, kidding aside, whenever I go to Quezon City, I'm always mistakenly called for a mayor. I wonder why. Pwede na, pwede. Whenever I go to Channel 2, pag nag guess ako, they always address me as Anthony. I don't know also why. But one thing I cannot deny, for over three years already, whenever I wake up in the morning, whenever I look at the mirror, especially if I haven't taken a shower, I look very different. I wonder why. That's not part of the act. Pinatayan ako ng mic. <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into it. If you have paper and pen, I do really suggest that you take down some good notes because the faintest ink is better than the sharpest memory. Do you agree? Yes or no? And uh, my only request for all of us inside this room right now, all you need to do is just remember one big idea. Everybody say one big idea. This one big idea can literally change the way you think, change the way you live, change the way you make your decision. It can change the destiny of your life. What do I mean? Whenever you come to this type of session, there are a lot of ideas that you will get. But one thing I've learned in life, it's not how much knowledge you know, but it's how much knowledge you apply. Do you agree? So, without further ado, let us start. Who among you want to become successful as an entrepreneur? Can you please raise up your hands? I do believe it all starts with developing an entrepreneurial what? Mindset. And in order for you to develop an entre entrepreneurial mindset, one thing that you and I got to understand, the most important thing in entrepreneurship or business is the, this word called what? Change. Everybody say change. change. Why change? Because the only thing that is permanent in this world is what? Change. The the world is changing so fast. Let's talk about the telecommunication industry. In the 1960s, the telephone was introduced. 70s came out the fax machine. Can you remember fax? 80s came out pager, easy call, pocket bell, info page. 90s came out cell phone, mobile phone. Year 2000 came out what we call as VOIP or long distance call that is for free. 21st century social media, Facebook, Twitter account, YouTube. Who among you up to this very present day, you still own a pager? Can you please raise up your hands? If you do, congratulations. Ikaw na lang at yung tanging operator kayong dalawa nag-uusap. What killed the paging business? Come on, talk to me. What killed the paging business? What killed the paging business? It wasn't mobile phone. There, because I can still remember there was a season that I had a mobile phone and a pager all at the same time. It is what? texting or SMS short messaging system which was introduced around 33 years ago. I was wondering what were the board of directors of Pocket Bell and Easy Call were thinking during those times. Oh, we won't, uh, you, you need us more than we, you need, you need me. So they failed to understand the most important asset that they uh, owned during the time wasn't the product, wasn't the service, but was the database of their clients or customers. They have millions of customers. But they fail to what? Address one thing. They refuse to what? Change. And in the 21st century, if you are in business, if you do not change, you become extinct. If you do not innovate, you evaporate. Do you agree? Yes or no? Even the banking industry is changing so fast. If you can still uh, well recall the history of our banking, it all started with uh, one of the oldest banks called DPI. Right? 
BPI opens their bank from what time to what time? From what day to what day? Monday up to what? Friday. Banking hours from 9 a.m. up to what? 3 in the afternoon. Is that right? Yes or no? And one of the banks also was Equitable Bank and Equitable became Equitable PCI. And then Henry C. stepped in, Schumart, the owner of Schumart, and then purchased all the bank and merged it to one bank and then they converted it into what? BBO. Because Henry C. had a slogan or has a slogan called, We've got it all. Gusto lahat ng negosyo kanila, mga swapang sila. <laughs> Walang iiwan sa iba. So, he converted it and then when he purchased all the banks, he asked his one of his daughters, uh, si uh, Tessie Coson, to step in and manage the bank. Well, Tessie Coson, with a brilliant mind and innovative mind, you know what she did? She introduced the mauling concept into the banking in industry. They started to open BDO from Monday up to what? From 10 a.m. up to what? 7 in the evening. Is that right? Yes or no? Question. What did the competitors do? Did they also adjust and change? Yes or no? If they do not adjust and change, what will happen? Clients will slowly migrate to their banks because they provide convenience. Is that right? Yes or no? As a matter of fact, my uncle owns two banks also. I don't know if you know my uncle. He owns Allied and PNB. Do you know Uncle Lucio? What's his surname? What's my surname? What's your problem? Is my uncle in my dream? <laughs> uncle Pengi Aeroplano. Uh, he merged his two banks. As a matter of fact, uh, during the event, uh, I was there. I, I was the one who did the keynote speech during that time. And as a matter of fact, okay, most of the banks are my clients. And I want to give you an inside info. And don't be, don't be afraid. Our money inside the banks are all secure. Don't, be, uh, don't get worried. PDIC covers it for half a million. And for some people, probably had more. Probably you should be more afraid. As a matter of fact, there's a latest banking rumor. Please don't spread this around. Henry C. again started to uh, buy some bank and had plans or has plans to buy more banks. He wants to purchase Pan Asia Bank and he wants to merge it with BDO and he wants to purchase United Coconut Planters Bank. Do you know UCPB is a government bank? Right now, it's going to be privatized and one of the potential buyers is Mr. Henry C. And he wants to convert and form a new bank called Pan de Coco. But that's only a banking rumor. Please don't spread it around. Well, if you can see, everything is changing. That's the reason why I want to encourage you to the existing business owner. If your business is not growing, your business is dying. Because one thing that you and I got to admit Expenses and, and overhead are ever increasing. Is that right? Yes or no? If your sales doesn't match your what? Your income, there will come a time that you will be operating on a losing proposition. And no business wants to operate on a losing what? Proposition. And one more, one more simple tip and simple idea. If the marketing strategy or the sales strategy is not working, there is something wrong. If it doesn't work, what do you need to do? You got to learn how to what? Change and what? Adjust. I was meeting a businessman one time over, over dinner and he was asking, you know, I've been operating my business for the over, uh, over three years already. The sales is still consistent. It's not growing. What do I need to do? I'm very hardworking. I'm very industrious. Narinig nyo na ito? Si pagatyaga, magdadala sa atin si ginhawa. Si pagatyaga. Narinig nyo na yan? Yes or no? Hard work and what? Patience. Yes or no? Okay, let me ask you this question. Is a car par are carpenter hardworking? Is a ditch digger? Is a ditch digger patient? Yes or no? Are they wealthy? Yes or no? It's not enough. Come on, repeat after me. Si pag. Si pag. Tiyaga, karunungan, diskarte. Hard work, patience, stra a strategy, a knowledge, and then what? Strategy. You got to be strategic. Even though you are hardworking, you're patient, but if you don't know anything, you're stuck in that situation. Because in the 21st century, knowledge is what? 
No, the one who said that died already, si Ernie Baron.